Good morning, uh, my students. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about very important tense, the future tense. What are the kinds of future tense? We have four kinds in future tense. Number one, well plus infinitive. Number two, M is R plus verb plus ing. Number three, M is R going to plus infinitive. And the last kind is present simple. How can we use all these kinds to express about the future? Let's start with the first kind, will plus infinitive. We have many usage to use this tense to express about future. Number one, promise. I will buy a computer for you. This is the promise. This is a promise. Number two, create. I will punish you. I will punish you. Number three, offer. I will help you. This is an offer. I will help you. Number four, request. When I want something from someone, will you help me? Will you help me? The last kind is quick decision. The last kind is quick decision. I will open the door. The door is knocking. The door is knocking. So I will open it now. I will open it now. This is a quick decision. After that, facts in the future. When I talk about facts, will happen in the future. I will be 13 next year. Sure, next year I will be 13. The last one, or uh, uh, before the last one, if the first condition of if, if you study hard, you will pass the exam or the exam. If you study hard, you will pass the exam. This is the first condition of F. After that, prediction without evidence. If you predict something, but you haven't any evidence. I think it will rain. I think it will rain. Okay? Note, all these words come with well plus infinitive. Think, expect, sure, predict, believe, plus subject, plus well plus verb in the infinitive form. I'm sure he will pass the exam. I'm sure he will pass the exam. Let's talk about the second kind of future tense. M is R plus verb plus ing. When do I use this kind of future tense? When I talk about arrange or arrangement, okay? I am traveling to Alex. It's arranged. So I arranged everything. I arranged everything. I am traveling to Alex. It's arranged. Okay? She is going to Alex. I have bought the tickets. So I have the tickets. I have the tickets. The tickets. So she uh, uh, or I, uh, uh, I am going to Alex or she is going to Alex. I have bought the tickets for her, for her. Let's speak about or let's talk about the last or uh, uh, number three. M is R going to plus verb in the infinitive. We use this kind of future in many different situations like plan, decide, intent, prediction with evidence. I have decided I'm going to buy a car. So I decided that I am going to buy a car. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. There are clouds in the sky. So I think it is going to rain. It's going to rain. This is the evidence. This is the evidence. I think it's well rain without evidence. So I use well plus infinitive. But in this situation, I have the evidence. I think it is going to rain. It's going to rain. Note, watch out, look out, watch out, or. What about these expressions? Watch out and look out. He is going to crash. 
Watch out. Look out, he is going to crash. Watch out or you will crash. So if I add or after watch out, I will, I will use the first kind, will plus infinitive. But if I haven't or after these expressions, I will use going to plus the infinitive. Let's talk about the last kind of future tense, present simple. When I use present simple in the future, I am talking about uh, timetable, timetable. The train leaves at 10 o'clock tomorrow. The train leaves at 10 o'clock tomorrow, the train singular. So we add S after the verb leave. The lessons start, lessons start at 8 o'clock next week. This is the timetable. Uh, uh, I think you are uh, understood everything. Thank you for your listening and seeing and see you in the next time. Goodbye.